Paul is just super driven. He's always thinking about working and what needs to be accomplished. I love to see that. So I'm still down here in Jupiter, Florida after the uh, Paul Cafaro build and Greg has got us going somewhere for a guy called Rob from Deer Meat for Dinner. Deer Meat for Dinner. Deer Meat for Dinner. I'm with Chris Hansen. And Chris, what are we gonna be, oh, ouch, oh, ouch. You all right? It's freaking hot. <laughs> Chris, what are we gonna be doing there? I think we're shooting some pigs. I'm not shooting anything. I'm not much of a, I'm not a hunter, so I know you are. You gonna spear something? No, I think Brian and I are probably gonna ride around on some ATVs and drink some beers, oh, so. spoon each other, yeah. We'll go check out what Rob's all about and uh, have some fun. We are headed to a ranch. Greg? Uh, three acre. Maybe you should yeah. better explain this. I don't really know, but I know that we're gonna go go hog hunting and we're gonna go eat, and then we're gonna eat the hogs at a party tonight and he wants a water feature. So Greg, they don't know who he is. Oh, okay, so we are we are gonna meet uh, Deer Meat for Dinner, who is a outdoorsman who started the channel and wants a water feature and he's gonna show us a good time today and then we'll show him a good water feature six months from now. His name is Rob, right? Rob from Deer Meat for Dinner. Cool. So I'm here with Rob Arrington. His channel is called Deer Meat for Dinner. And what, what do you guys specialize in? We are an outdoor lifestyle channel. We're all about hunting, fishing, ethical outdoors, cooking wild game, and just enjoying the outside. The only time I'm inside is when I'm editing. So I came here with Greg because we met you over at Paul Cafaro's mm -hmm. house. We did that build there. You saw what we were doing. I see you have a pond in your own backyard. What's the story with this? So this is our home. Uh, we've, we've lived here for a couple years. It's a rental. Mm -hmm. and. My wife had this little, she just wanted a pool in the backyard. So I was off on a trip. I come home, she's got an above ground pool and she's floating in it. So obviously the filter lasted about two days. And I said, honey, I want to raise bass. I want to put some bass and brim in there. And I called Paul Cafaro, which Paul, you're awesome. I'm very proud of you. I think you're an awesome young man. Paul came over, we put together some ideas and the pond was born. Now, like everything else, you just learn piece by piece. Next thing I know, I got these legends at my house. <laughs> So we're talking about going over to your property. We're going to be building a new house, mm -hmm. three acres, and maybe even a water feature there, something possibly over the top, right? Yeah. Um, this is going to be a home we plan on raising our kids in and living in. It's three acres. It's a property I've dreamed about living on my whole life. We can finally afford to do it. So we're building a beautiful home. And if we're going to do a water feature, I want to do something that is huge. So why don't we go over there and we'll kind of throw some ideas around with Greg and Brian and Chris and see if we can come up with something pretty awesome. Cool. And the good thing is my mom and dad, they have a like a Bobcat Baco company with with dump trucks. And we can bring heavy equipment. I mean, if we're going to do it, let's do it big. That's going to be awesome. Let's go do it. Awesome. That cabbage palm there along the house will be like there, that big square out there. So we're going to have all of this area where we can either do, you know, we're obviously going to do a pool, but over in that corner over there, we can walk over here. With the ditch right there, I didn't know if if we would use any of that water in and out of the ditch. I didn't no. know. Use all just this Keep water. Circulating with the ecosystem wetland filtration on it. And so as you can see, we have lots of ground here. Over here in this corner somewhere, let, let's say the house was sitting there. Over here in this corner somewhere, we could build it around where they're like, like let's say you built it around the, these trees where the, tr the pine tree and the palm tree was like on an island and it went around it with a big hill. And I mean, you guys build this stuff, come on. Jim. I saw the dogs and I'm thinking like there should be a dock for the dogs to jump off of like out in there. You're throwing Frisbees and they're leaping into the water. And... They can do that into a water feature? Oh yeah. Sure. I think some of these trees like, you try to leave them and do some kind of rope swing for the kids and like you could do some cool cool mm -hmm. stuff out here i mean you could do zip lines that's why i'm saying if i'm gonna work with you guys Eat. i want to do something that we make everyone just drop their jaws now i wouldn't touch, that, touch wire. that wire yeah. oh no let's touch it if you're set. gonna touch it touch it with the back of your hand it's a little barrel. ah you're a tough guy you are a tough dude. it's not doing anything is it it's not on <laughs> the reason you don't you don't I'm not even touching it knowing it's off but 
when people touch it yeah, this way, it, it, wa them. it wants the electricity makes you want to grab it. Can so you turn it on so Chris can touch it? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for any broken teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So really, yeah. When we go to the ranch today, this is what we're gonna eat. This is a beautiful cabbage tree. It's a I sable never palm. Never guess that was edible. Yeah, you you would go to about right here. Whoa! Cut this off with a chainsaw. Cut the top. This will all come out, and this, the heart of this will be absolutely one of the best things you've ever eaten. Really? Yes. So we, we checked out uh, Rob's property here where he's going to be building the house. He's got a really a, a blank slate, awesome palette. Let's talk to Brian Helfrich, the lead designer in the world of water features. Brian, you want to come you wanna talk to us? You want to come talk to us about water never, features? It never <laughs> So let's, let's talk about some ideas of what you're thinking, and we, I think we showed you some stuff that you might be into. Where, what direction do <laughs> you think that this is going to go with this, the pond? Well, so whenever we initially started designing the house, we were thinking of building a house on the land, and then we'll figure out where to put the pond. In five minutes, I figured out that what we need to do is get our architect in touch with you and my wife. My wife is like crazy about this <laughs> and figure out how to work the pond into the house because this is going to be a huge part of our property. Our best friends live in Felsmere and Sarah's favorite thing to do is swim in their pond. So she's always wanted a swimming pond, but I never thought it was actual reality. Oh, yeah. I thought that was just something you said. When you when you th when you thought swimming pond before, what did you think of? I thought of pond that was like an artesian well flowing into it, and then you just went swimming. I I never knew like you guys were just showing me the the pictures and videos of what you've made. I never knew that was even. I didn't know that was even in existence. So. I mean, like y'all didn't know you could eat that tree. No, I had no idea you guys I could. I still do what don't you know do. that I can eat that tree, but we're gonna find out, I guess. So I guess we got a, a cool plan for this. We're going to your ranch now, yeah. and you guys are gonna kill some hogs, and we're gonna, gonna eat some trees, and, 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 <laughs> and uh, have some fun. I'm riding with Chris Hansen over to uh, Rob's ranch here, and we're just discussing this whole crazy YouTube thing. And I literally, I just started like two, two and a half months ago from my Columbia trip decided hey let me keep on doing this and it makes sense for the business so coming down here to Florida to go to Paul Cafaro's and now we're talking about doing something possibly with Rob with deer meat for dinner I'm trying to uh, uh, they're a huge huge resource because I'm, I'm listening to what they're doing because they're super successful with YouTube and reaching people and building an audience that uh, they want to provide information for whether it's Paul for initially it was fishing then he, he transitioned into fish keeping and then the pond and all that and and Rob does his whole hunting channel and, and cooking with um, with the game that he mm -hmm. kills right yep. so Chris you're being exposed to this through aquascape what are your thoughts on um, what YouTube could possibly mean to our industry with the ponds for a local market and for exposure as a whole well, I, I think one, the collaborative efforts between, you know, these are outdoor lifestyle stations, right. correct? So, which we fit right in with that. So it's, it's um, I think we, we all share a passion for our own respective um, industries or our fields, but um, that, that collaboration or getting together with these guys is really gonna help us um, show people that are involved with them or interested in their channels what water features are like when they're done right, right. how kick-ass they are, um, or how killer they are. <laughs> <laughs> I just think, I think it's great to, to be able to get connected with these guys, um, to show them what we're about, and also get a better understanding of somebody who's successful in YouTube and help us as well. So what I'm hoping to take away from this is a better understanding on how to provide value for my audience whatever that shapes out to be so that people stay engaged and they actually want to watch what it is we're doing so we're down here working on it trying to make things better let's go see what rob's got at his ranch and see where this whole adventure takes us i said hey we're cooking dinner tonight we might as well go get some fresh peppers and he's got the hogs from yesterday hanging in a cooler so i'll quarter out one of them real quick then we'll head to the ranch so you want us to hop in the truck yeah get in the truck right okay. now okay Hang on one second, Rob. I don't know if it's too safe for us to be on the corner like hey, this. Yeah.